Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth. I still haven't done Bunker Alpha because it's dumb and it's really hard and I don't have a lot of mats. So today I'm going to be showing you how to run Crooked Creek Farm because you get better stuff and it's good for farming chopper parts. All right, let's get into it. So you just want to go back and forth here. You want to go all the way, right? That second rock right there. Let him reset and then just keep ho slapping him until he's dead. Now for this, you will definitely need to know how to wall glitch. It's not that hard. I learned how to do it in Bunker Alpha. I've only been doing it for a day and kind of shit, but I'm not that bad. So you can do it too. Now for the farm, when you first run it, maybe, I don't know how it works, there should just be zombies, so you might not need a gun. But it's different for everyone. Also, yeah, it's good for aluminum and coal and for raiders. But you gotta use a gun because they're people and they got good melee and they suck because they're stupid. And you know what? I don't like them. And I could have done that better right there, but I'm dummy, so shut up. All right, just lure this guy. And then we got a little horde coming. See, the good thing about raiders is that the horde is usually a lot less because of the fact that the raiders are there, so they cleared out most of the zombies for you. So you don't need that much. Also, anything... That you don't want to lose, you should probably stash. So, like, if you brought anything you brought with you, keep it in your inventory. But you stash it somewhere else. Because you don't want to bring it to you when you're killing shit in case you die. Alright? Now, if you're a little quicker on your feet, you could probably dodge that one hit over there. And now you just do the wall glitch until he's dead. Go up, slice down punch slice down and rinse and repeat until they're dead check this bag got some more aluminum got another savage giant yeah can sneak up on them so i'm gonna have to wall glitch them now oh well Just keep slicing, just keep slicing. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> okay, we got a little horde coming over there. Shit. I'm gonna slice these guys up. Oh shit. Now the cool thing about Crooked Creek Farm is that unlike Bunker Alpha, mobs, the health doesn't reset when you leave or die. So technically if you had a shit ton of money or just a bunch of ads, you could just punch everything to death and run it naked. I mean you'd have to have a lot of coins to refill your stamina and it'd be not very practical and kind of dumb but... You could do it. Alright, let's just lure that guy out. We gotta kill these dudes. Alright, and now we'll just kill this one dude left, and then we're gonna reset. After I just shoot him to death. Heal up. You got this. Nope, can't wall glitch that. You need an actual wall. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just go back to what you know. Alright, we just keep slicing and slicing and slicing. Right. 
Now, that thing moving over there, that's an infected bull. Don't fuck with them. They don't drop anything, and they don't give a lot of XP, and they're really hard to kill. And it's a waste of time. Leave them the fuck alone. And if you aggro one of them, your best bet is to just reset. Just dip out the map and leave. Because fighting one of them is not fun. Okay, our, hatch our machete's about to break. About a dip, reset. Come on, heal up, and I'm out. And we're back. Put that there, delete that, let's go. Don't aggro the bull. Get a slicer ready. We're gonna go over here. Slap him once. Get in here. And we're just gonna wall glitch him. And we aggro the bull. Now I'm gonna die here. So, uh, yeah. Let me just grab my shit and I'll be right back. Do 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 do
Now, as you can see by the fact that I'm holding an Uzi, I died several times trying to kill this asshole. Now, when you die fighting the Ravager, his health will reset. So, yeah, try to be fast on your feet and dodge. Also, don't use armor when fighting this guy because he'll just melt it off and it's a waste of mats. You don't need an Uzi to fight him. I'm just mad at him for killing me a bunch of times, so I'm using one. Also, Uzis don't really have any practical use without mods, so might as well. And now, for the remainder of his life, I'm going to hose slap him with a crowbar. And then maybe a golf club. So you just keep dodging and just slice him. Three hits, dodge. Three hits, dodge. Three hits, dodge. Punch him once. Yeah, he's gonna start running. And now I'm gonna host slap him with a golf club until he's dead. Or a stop sign. Boop. 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 One hit, smack. One hit, smack. One hit, smack. And he's dead. Drop some cloth, that's nice. Put on this armor, I'm gonna need it. Put this shit away. Don't wanna lose it. No, no crate here. Got a, a Yoko, gotta deal with them. And you're dead. Easy. Okay, that's a raider up there. There's nothing over there, so leave him alone. Don't gotta fight. Oh shit, I was about to kill that guy. But he didn't see me. I'm just gonna sneak around him. And here's the box. Now keep in mind, the box will spawn in different locations for you. And when you... Now we have to clear this part out. I'm just gonna do a little loop around until they're all dead. And then I'm going to do a wall glitch on the Savage Giant. And the other thing I like about this place is that the Savage Giants are weaker and they have less health. I don't know why I didn't just go to the house and wall glitch them there, but whatever. Now I'm just going to smack him until he's dead. Boop. As soon as he hits, you throw a punch back at him. So that way he loses health and you don't. You punch, I hit. You punch, I hit. And just keep doing this and that's how you wall glitch. It's very helpful for running Bunker Alpha. Now over here, normally when you open the crate, that that barn right there will pop open and a shit ton of zombies will come out so you hide in the house but on this run i got unlucky because in there there is a motorcycle where you get motorcycle parts from like wheels and stuff a lot of good things it now the barn has a 90 percent chance of opening upon crates so yeah i got really unlucky but if it did you would just kill the rotten yokels with a melee weapon and use the shotgun to kill all the savage giants. And now we got some stuff, so yeah, I'm gonna carry this back. See ya.